Hey, how y'all doing? This is Guy Solis, Gentleman's Edge. Today I'm going to look at some of my aftershaves. Uh, I've been having some problems and I just ordered one that was kind of expensive. I expect it to be quite a bit different than it is, but I'll get to that later. My shaver is a Gourlesh. Just about done with this one. Me having something <clears throat> a little bit different. I do like Clamato in my beers, and I want to pour a cheap beer into a very nice glass. So, should add some salt to it, but <clears throat> whatever. This whole thing kind of started uh, with this when I ordered this. The uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street Rose. And I swear, to, and to my nose, it smells like, a, like plastic. It really, really does. It's a very nice soap. It has all the great qualities, but the scent, to me, smells like plastic. Every time I use it, it feels like plastic. Um, so I'm going to go through a couple of my aftershaves. Uh, of course I got the Panade and the other Panade. And those are very nice, you know, they are what they are. I've got something I haven't used in a while. The Bay Rum. Uh, I just washed everything off because they, were, they was dusty. So, uh, Let's see. Got the Hazelette Apothecary. Um, the scent on this one is, uh, um, I don't know, you know, I just don't think that they're, that they're very strong. I like to smell like something after I put together a nice shave. This is Ginger Gardens at Marrakesh. Uh, I use it because it's a, very, it's a strong scent. Uh, a lot of guys don't, won't use this because it's kind of powdery smelling. Uh, but, you know, you we use some of this and get around, you know, women, whatever, and, and they just love it. Here's something that was gifted to me. Uh, I don't use it very often. I probably should. It's, a, it's not a very strong scent either. Um, this is a cream aftershave from uh, Artist Shaving. Um, this one here. Oh, no. Uh, this one here is an old-fashioned one. Uh, it's got a pretty nice scent to it. I just smelled it. I should use this more. I haven't used this in about a year. It's like a... No, it's a, it's a pretty manly scent. It's not real super strong, but I got the I got the aftershave and the, and the cologne too. So that's pretty good. Here's one that is very nice, but, you know, after, you know, 30 seconds, you just can't smell it anymore. Um, I just picked up uh, Italian Barber Amici. And this has got a really super nice scent. I like that one. Uh, and I got a couple creams, but I'll just show you one. This is the E Shave Cucumber. Uh, really super soothing, really clean scent. <clears throat> this one here is the <clears throat> uh, Madame Scolioli's Dust Shaker. Uh, it's got a strong scent. It's interesting and everything. Uh, but this one here, I, I, I kind of looked them up, looked up Madame Scolioli, see what they were doing. and. There is a lot of weird stuff on there, and I'm probably just going to throw it away because I just I have my principles. Uh, what I have in here is, uh, can you guess? Uh, Phoenix Accruciaments Cavendish. This is a very good scent. I've been sa I save this. I don't just wear this every day. It's I save it because it's a nice scent. <clears throat> I don't want to have to buy it again. Whoops! Whoops! Uh, the panty dropper, the scent on this is super light. Uh, it just, you know, I, and that's, and that's what, that's, that's what aggravates me is that the scents are just so light. It's not, to me, it's not even worth buying aftershave anymore. <clears throat> you know, apparently I have enough aftershave to last a while. Uh, one that I do like, it's not very strong, is Irish Moose. 
Um, this one here is the wood shaving products Gaelic Tweed. It's got a nice light scent, kind of like a 7-Up kind of scent. Uh, now their mahogany is through the roof. This is a good scent. It's almost gone. It's a good strong scent. I love that one. Um, this is Barrister Man's Chest Sire. Nothing to it. I just wish I didn't buy that. There's nothing to it. It's just, you know, it's a splash and, you know, I don't smell anything when I put it on. Uh, this one here is for Flint. This is from the uh, Through the Fire Finecraft. Um, it's okay. It's not a bad scent. Um, now, um, uh, well, let me show you. These are all my Spanish scents. The Mirasol Plastic. It's got a super clean scent. Really good for your skin. Always makes you feel really good. The uh, 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 oh yeah, the Refreshante, the green one, is very nice too. It's got kind of a toothpaste scent to it. I wear sometimes in the summertime. Now this uh, this one here, I ordered this. I was trying to order Floyd Black. And I ended up buying the Suave, and I didn't know. Uh, that's when I first started shaving. Uh, uh, and using uh, products like the uh, soaps and everything. So I bought this and the first time I put it on I was startled because the scent is like, I swear, this is how I describe it. The scent is like when you walk into a men's room and you smell that that uh, that uh, mothball scent in the, in the toilet kind of smells like that and it shocked me but you know what I start I just kept using it because I bought it right and you know I, I kind of I'm kind of fond of it actually it's kind of fond I kind of fond of it so so this is a it's been a pretty good one I I think now uh, now um, yesterday I got in something that's interesting this is Floyd Black, and to me, I'm kind of disappointed in the scent. It gives a nice face. I, I've been using it for a couple days. The scent is like, I don't know, my first, the first time I smelled it, it kind of smelled like, a, like, a, I don't know, like gingerbread cookies or something like that, brown sugar or something, and I just, I couldn't believe and I was going to send it back, and I'm just, I said, you know, I'm just going to wear it just like I did the Floyd uh, Suavecito, or Floyd Suave, and maybe I'll grow attached to it. I don't think, now, do I just smell it just now? It gave me a more cologne scent. It kind of makes me wonder if my sniffer is going. I know my wife doesn't like it, but you know, it's not a bad scent. I mean, I just think right now, right, I feel, feels kind of nice. So I'm just going to keep using it. I, I, um, I'm feeling better about it right now. So I just smelled it again. Now, I ordered some soap, some chest sire from uh, Bear Stern Man, and I got in this little package it gave me. Turn me on to some aftershave. I poured it in my hand. Put it on, and I swear I fell in love with it just like that. Within five minutes, I'm looking up how to where to get more of it, right? And uh, I can't smell so much here anymore. But I ordered the uh, Barrister and Man's uh, Reserve Classic, and I did. I just did a review on this one. Uh, the soap is great, but this doesn't have that. It just this this here smells so different. It smells more lemony than than the package, and I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe there's something going on with my sniffer. I don't know, but you know, uh, I hate to buy stuff uh, and not get what I think I'm supposed to get. You know, so I don't know, man. And honorable, the honorable mention for Joe Pierce is this. Yes. This is the last of my Florida water. So 
he sent me, what did you send me, three bottles or two? I think three bottles. And so this is, uh, this is just something just to put on and just to give your facial face a little tone and, and, and a little bit of attitude. It's got a nice scent. It's uh, lime. It's very nice, very nice. Uh, so that's it. I mean, you know, what am I supposed to do with all this stuff, you know? I think I, I thought I had a Fougere Noir aftershave too. Um, so I think my thing right now is to stop buying stuff. I got a lot of soap. I obviously have a lot of aftershave that I could be using. Uh, and, uh, you know, instead of buying aftershave, buy booze. All right, man, this is a guy sold his Gentleman's Edge. Today's my Friday. I'm going to have a couple beers. And uh, get ready for some heavy-duty work tomorrow on my house. So, uh, anyway, y'all take care, man. And remember, even if it's not your Friday yet, it's still a good day for a shave. Later, man.